how to perform a close reduction of a pediatric forearm fracture. Plain radiographs demonstrate a green stick fracture of both the mid shaft radius and ulna with a volar apex deformity. Equipment needed is prepared beforehand, including two and four inch uh, tubular wool and plaster of Paris, respectively. The neurovascular status of the clinically deformed limb is assessed beforehand. Using both your thumbs as a fulcrum, a three point reduction technique is utilized. This is performed for several minutes until a click is heard. Four inch tubular wool is then applied below the elbow. My personal preference is to apply the plaster in stages so that the fracture can once again be manipulated with a single roll of plaster of Paris and then reinforced with further rolls. The first layer of plaster of Paris is applied uh, circumferentially, taking great care not to extend the plaster distal to the MCPJs. In this case, a complete cast was applied, making sure that uh, this is not applied too tightly as hydrogenic compartment syndrome can develop. There was no significant swelling given the low energy injury sustained in this case, uh, which is why a circumferential cast was applied in the initial setting. A three-point moulding uh, was applied, which is key to fracture reduction, using my knee as a fulcrum. Gentle graduated pressure is then applied either side of the apex volar deformity. The plaster is then checked to ensure it's not too tight and the fingers can move freely with again distal neurovascular status reassessed post-reduction. In order to ensure rotational stability, the fracture is then immobilized with an above elbow cast and this is again uh, completed with a 4 inch layer of uh, plaster of Paris. The plaster is then reinforced with two further layers of plaster in Paris. The elbow is flexed to 90 degrees and as this was an apex volar deformity uh, by pronating the wrist this will aid in reduction. Following moulding of the cast, uh, the elbow is then placed into a standard uh, sling for comfort. Post-reduction films revealed an adequate alignment on orthogonal planes.